Pisces, I am your astrologer, Wonder Girl, taking you to new heights. Here is your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, April 23rd to Sunday, April 29th, 2018. Now before I get started, I just have two announcements. First of all, sorry, still I'm still a little sick going on with my throat here. But first of all, I'm back doing astrological readings. If you want me to read your chart, uh, or, or your charts, <laughs> quite a few of them, um, you can sign up at the link down below to reserve a spot with me. What I do uh, is a one hour or two hour uh live video where you are there with me in the video. I'll bring up your charts. You can talk to me, ask me questions, and where I'll go through uh, everything that's going on with you, some strengths and weaknesses, some things that are coming up, and then we can just chat about, about things that are going on, okay? Uh, so that's what's going on there. Second of all, May, your May webinar for 2018. I'm doing it Monday, April 30th at 6 p.m. Mountain Time, where I'm going to talk about what's going on during the next month, okay? The way I see this next month, it's finally our chance to break free, to live the life that it is that we've always wanted, okay? I think it's going to be a good thing. It sounds really romantic. However, it may not feel that way. <laughs> you could feel caged in by an old life, uh, by an old way of doing things, having to create the new from the old that could be a little bit hard, uh, maybe wanting to act out in some ways and relate relationships as well, maybe just not getting it, getting what's going on with you, why you're all of a sudden being this way <laughs> uh, going on. So there are some things that could come up there. If you want to learn more about how to be more authentically yourself in a way that perhaps is a little bit easier them to make the transition in a way that can bring other people on board as well, please sign up at the link down below uh, in the description box for information on that too. Now Pisces for your horoscope this week. We've got Mars and Pluto in a conjunction. For you, it's going to be in your 11th house of your goals, your dreams, and your hopes for the future. So I think what's going on is where you thought your life was going, um, the way that you envisioned it, maybe even the groups of people that you associate with, it, it's they're different. <laughs> it's changing. Maybe you thought your life was going in one, in one place and now you it's going in another. Now you want something different coming in. Maybe you thought you were socializing with one group of people, but now something else is happening. Okay, some of that could be very um, closely related with Pluto involved to money, where you envisioned your life going with money, <laughs> and with deep intimate relationships as well, where you saw your life going with some like intimate um, relationships that you shared money, sex, time, those kind of things with come in with Pluto as well. Okay, and envisioning a different future for all of that. All right, so I think that is what is coming in here this week. With Pluto going retrograde while this is happening this week, I think what's going on is that you've known perhaps for quite some time that there's some kind of change that you need to make to where you see your life going, to your goals and dreams, and to some of your social groups that you are a part of, but maybe it's been hard for you to make this change. Maybe you've been a little uncertain about what exactly that is. And I think this week with Pluto going retrograde, Mars here saying now it's time for you to actually step into to transform your your life to live this perhaps new or different vision for your future that you've been ruminating on since the beginning of this year or maybe even longer okay um so that's what i think is going on here with mars and pluto could be a little bit scary with pluto involved okay bringing up some deep emotions i don't know how i feel about this new thing going on in my life about this new vision for my future but needing to just deal with those feelings and let the change come because i think it will be good for you in the end all right, the reason why I think it will be good is because this Mars-Pluto conjunction is in a sextile here with Jupiter. And Jupiter is in your ninth house of something new and different you have not done before. So what this can mean is that you changing where it is you saw your life going and who it is that you associate with really helping you here to have a new life, to envision a new future, to bring some fresh new energy in, to do some things that are exciting that you haven't done before. Okay, um, I think being a good thing. Sometimes as well with the ninth house, you get steady, learning something new, traveling as well, coming in. And I think you allowing your life to change or the way you saw your life going to change is gonna help you perhaps do some new things, hopefully that are better, exciting and different for you. All right, so I think that's what's going on this week. A lot of focus on that. While that's happening, we're also focusing, you're also focusing on another area and that's where Venus is in Gemini, which is gonna move in on Wednesday. And Gemini for you Pisces rules your fourth house of home and of family, okay? Um, and I think what you're thinking about here on Wednesday is how you can feel better at home, more comfortable with your home, have better relationships with people at home and family. I think you're also just trying to figure out how you can feel better emotionally about your life and how you can build something in your life that you feel more secure in, more at home in, and that resonates more with you deep down also being a focus. 
all right with Venus as it moves into Gemini, making a sextile over here to Chiron and Aries and your second house of money and of confidence and of your gifts and skills and talents, I think there is a chance for you on Wednesday as you're thinking about home here and how to feel more comfortable at home for you to start to feel a little bit more confident here about your money, about what's going on at home and with family, about how you can start to build something at home in a way that feels more stable and better for you. Um, I think you're also starting to get more of an understanding too about what gifts and skills and talents you can use to have better relationships, better things go on with home and family and to just feel more comfortable as well emotionally with what's going on with you, okay? So I do see that, I mean, this week is kind of like an unusual week, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, because there's a lot going on and it's kind of like a mixed bag, some intense things coming in, and but some good things, I think, as well going on in a, in a few different areas of our life that are like different, but still kind of related. Okay, so that's what I see. I see big changes here just to recap going on in your goals and where it is that you see your life going here to make room for something new that you haven't done before while at the same time you trying to figure out how to feel more comfortable, more confident, more stable at home emotionally moving forward. All right, going on. Then when it comes to Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of this week, I think that's when some decisions, some choices, and some hard conversations come in. And that's because for the beginning of the week, we've had these two different areas which I just described going on. And at the middle of the week, you have to bring these two parts of your life together. You have to figure out how to reach some new goals of yours and how to be more confident doing it, how to make money doing it, and how to work better with home and family to bring it all together. All right, and I think on Wednesday and Thursday, we get Mercury here in your second house of money in a square with Saturn in your 11th house of your goals and dreams, bringing up some hard conversations or some choices and decisions that you need to make in order to be more confident reaching some goals and dreams of yours in order to figure out how to finance perhaps a new vision now that it is that you see for your life in a way that you can feel more comfortable in doing something new, all right? And I think that comes in, that could be a little hard Hard, just having to figure out how to bring these two parts, separate parts of your life together. If you can do that though, I do see some good things coming from it. That's because right after this happens, Mercury square Saturn, it's then going to come into a trine here with the North Node and Leo. And that for you is going to be in your sixth house of your job and of your daily routines. And what that's going to bring is if you can figure out how to be more confident reaching a new vision of your future or to make money reaching this new vision, it's going to help you here to have a job or a set of daily routines that you like. It's going to help you to organize your life better and just as well with the sixth house, be healthier. So I think there are some good things that can come in if you make some hard decisions to bring your whole life together and integrate some things you've been working on for a while. We also do have um, Uranus moving to 29 degrees on Saturday of your second house as well, really bringing in lots of excitement here for you to break free from old financial situations, to come into new financial situations with money, with how you make money in some way being a big thing. Also, perhaps you using some gifts and skills and talents that you feel are uniquely you, <laughs> that you're perhaps uniquely gifted at, or you wanting to create more of a life where you can do those things. Also, as well, Uranus requiring lots of confidence for you to be confident as you make some of these changes stepping into a new life as well, being a big thing here. Um, really needing to be confident to utilize new different gifts and skills and talents and perhaps make money in unusual ways here or in a different way for you to move forward. Can also bring some unexpected things as well because of that up with your money um, towards the end of this week. We also have at the same time the sun in your third house of talk and communication on um, Sunday coming into a trine with Saturn. So I think what that could bring this weekend are some positive conversations about your goals, about where you see your life going, okay? But I think these positive conversations aren't gonna happen unless you first make the choices and decisions on how you can finance some new direction and be more confident moving in it. And I think if you can do that during the week, then it's gonna be really nice on Sunday for you to finally be able to envision a new future, feel much better about it, talk about it in the right ways and think about it. I just think in a way that's going to be better for you. Okay. So that's happening there. And then the last thing I want to mention on Monday 
We have a full moon here in Scorpio in your ninth house of something new, really bringing, bringing some kind of completion, culmination. Perhaps you've been working on something new for quite some time. Maybe you've been envisioning a new life for yourself for quite some time. And I think the full moon is really going to help you to step into this vision, to finally live it, to hopefully complete it in some sense, <laughs> so that you can start to communicate better and make familiar all of these new things that it is that you've been working on and thinking about for quite some time. So that's what I see going on this week. Thank you so much for watching my horoscope. If you liked it, please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and I will talk to you later.